This has been one of the biggest years in boxing. Um, Bob Arum, you know, he has this deal with ESPN. Hold on. You guys have the deals with Showtime. Um, your cruiserweight tournament, but now moving into the future, Bob Arum said it that he would like a talents trade. He's possibly open to working with Al Heyman. How would that benefit boxing? And, and when you heard that, what do you make of that? Bob Arum saying the talent trade, the talent trade. Being well, you know, I don't really, you know, I, I think the, I think what it really is um, in layman's terms is you know promoter working together to get big fights done. That's what it really is, and I think what that requires is because it seems these days. Um, promotional entities and, and other entities, they are sort of like aligned with a particular network, which makes it sometimes difficult to make certain fights happen. And I think what Bob is saying, and I agree with him, that networks should not stand in the way of certain fights happening. And what he went on the record as well, that ESPN will not be in the way to make fights happen, and that basically other networks should shouldn't either. And I applaud him for that. And what's in the way of Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder? It seems like Anthony Joshua might be facing Joseph Parker next. Do you think that's a good move on their part? And, and what's keeping Joshua versus Wilder from happening? Uh, I don't know what's uh, what's stopping it, but obviously the big fight, one of the biggest fights in the sport you can make today, I think the biggest fight, uh, is Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. And I think uh, they are like talking about the split. Uh, and that uh, Joshua Camp feels that the 50-50 split is not fair. Uh, I disagree with that. I think it's fair uh, because uh, this fight should take place in the United States. And in the United States, the amount available is substantially bigger than it is in the United Kingdom. Um, one of the reasons, for example, is that the pay-per-view price in the UK is about a third, a third or a fourth of what the pay-per-view price is here in the United States. So if you do a million homes in the UK, you only need to do 300,000 homes here and you already generate more money. And that's why I believe um, the fight should be a 50-50 split. And uh, just get it done. Just get it done. Like always, it's a pleasure, Richard. Thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Good to see you.